Hey there fellow car guys, welcome to today's video where we are going to be diving into the world of hot hatches with some hot takes on the Honda Civic Type R and why it's pretty overrated. So before we get into it, let's set the record straight. The Civic Type R is a great car. It's fun to drive, it's got the looks, the performance, the fan base, what more could you want out of a car? Well, in this video, we're gonna look at what more you could want and really dive into why this car is really actually quite overrated. So let's kick things off with a look at the numbers. The Civic Type R boasts an impressive 315 horsepower and 310 foot-pounds of torque, delivered by its turbocharged 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine. This pushes the car to 60 in a quick 4.9 seconds. Yes, it's snappy and powerful, but compared to other hot hatches in the price range, and it starts to look pretty slow. The Volkswagen Golf R, for example, it boasts a similar power output, but it manages to do so with smoother power delivery and a more engaging driving feel. Not to mention it sounds quite a bit better. So, while the Type R's numbers may be impressive, it's not really all that much different compared to its competitors. Now, to look at more actual numbers, the Golf R does 0-60 in 3.9 seconds, an entire second quicker than the Civic Type R. But that doesn't quite tell the whole story, because, well, if you're buying one of these hot hatches, sure, it should be fun in a straight line, but you should also be able to take some twisties with it and really enjoy your time doing so. So let's look at some track numbers. Now, we already know that the Civic Type R is going to handle pretty well with that huge wing and a bunch of aero on the car trying to give it downforce and make it handle well, but you also got to know that the Golf R and other competitors are going to handle really well. But in this, we're going to look specifically at the Golf R because that's what I mentioned earlier. Now, the Golf R is made by Volkswagen, which, as you probably know as a car enthusiast, makes a lot of supercars. And the Golf R has a lot of that technology integrated into it. Now, yes, Volkswagen is responsible for six of the top 10 fastest lap times around the Nürburgring, but does that really mean that the Golf R is gonna be faster than the Civic? Well, let's take a quick look. Around the Nürburgring, the Golf R is slower by about three seconds. On most tracks that you're gonna think about, three seconds seems like a lot. And you know, in the racing world, usually three seconds is a lot. But around the Nürburgring, which is a track that's humongous, over 13 miles, I believe, three seconds starts to look like a pretty slim margin. So alongside that, let's look at a couple of other track times. I'll link the article down below so you guys can look at the details more in depth, but if you want to see them, you can look on the screen here. Now, the Civic Type R was faster on four out of six tracks that they tested it on, but with one of those tracks, the margin of difference was less than half a second, so it was pretty close. So they stack up fairly evenly with handling. I guess the Civic has its arrow to thank because, well, it does more than just look funky, which let's get into that. Now, the Civic Type R styling might turn some people off, but for me personally, I actually kind of like it, especially the newer generation that's just starting to come out. And while the older one, yes, it is a little bit over the top, the newer one tones it down a lot more while providing quite a bit more downforce as well. Now, a little bit about the practicality. The gigantic rear wing on the last generation Civic Type R hinders visibility, and the new one somewhat, but not as much as before. And let's not forget about the triple exhaust that everybody kind of talks about as being a ricer car part, which personally, I think it's really cool, actually. I think it just fits the car. The styling is over the top, and I think that if you're gonna make the car look that aggressive and insane already, why not just add that little bit of detail to separate it from the rest of the cars? Now, yeah, the Civic Type R doesn't really appeal to everybody. And well, other cars like the Golf R and although it's discontinued in the US, the Ford Focus ST and Fiesta ST are designed better and slightly more practical, I think. Now, another thing to be said is that all of the other significant hot hatches are actually hatchbacks, whereas the Civic Type R is kind of a weird cross between the two. It doesn't have that mini minivan look like the Golf R does or the Ford Focus and Fiesta do. Now that doesn't impact trunk space a ton, but you know, it's something to think about it. If you really like the look of a traditional hot hatch, then the Civic Type R probably won't really appeal to you. Now it's clear that the Honda Civic Type R has its strengths, but it also has its weaknesses. It's not quite perfect. And while it drives great and does technically outhandle cars like the Golf R that are a lot quicker than it to 60, other cars could be more fun to drive. And they come with a more practical design that's a lot more understated and not over the top and brash as the Civic Type R. It's all about finding the right balance between power and everyday usability. And the Civic Type R does that fairly well, but a lot of other cars do it a lot better. So is the Honda Civic Type R overrated? Well, let's just say it's not the only fish in the sea. Well, overrated, yes, but bad, no. no, 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 it's a great car still. There are alternative hot hatches that do deserve a closer look, I think. We encourage you to explore your options if you're gonna buy one of these. Consider the facts, figures, and make a decision that suits you. Now, don't just take my word for it. Look down in the comments, and I'm sure that I'll have a couple of people who own these or have strong opinions on these and can tell me what they think. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time.